Is Sears Tower here? I was right. Me and my friend, <laughs> and my friend had a debate about the building. <laughs> Chicago is one of those cool places that's like a mixture between like New York and like the like better to me. Yeah. yeah. I just feel like it's it's just nice and chill, but it still has the cool buildings, cool lights, but then there's just cool people, Midwest, you know. Okay, so you're on your first promotional tour across the country. Are you excited? Have any big plans, special places? I'm super excited. Um, I just love meeting new people, and uh, I love meeting the fans, and I love just you know. Creating new people that enjoy my music that I've never met before, never heard of me, but leave the show excited and you know want to know more about me. And yeah, so that's it's fun. It's, fun. it's tiring, but it's fun. So you got to work with the hip hop artist Bob in your latest video, Drop It Remix. How did you feel? How did it feel to team up with him? It felt cool. Um, you know, he's really a talented rapper, and the song was really good, and I was excited. Um, about the way it turned out, but I was like, how can we take it to another level? Let's keep it in the family, put B.O.B. on it. And then um, he made it a whole new record, so we had to make a whole new video, and it turned out pretty good. Great. Okay, so you've not only been exposed to music, but acting on TV. Have any favorite memories from Life on the Big City? Favorite memories? Um, there's a lot of those. Um, I feel like one of my favorites, I played uh, this doctor on Harry's Law. And the guy got shot in front of me, and I had to like go and blood's like rushing out of him, and I they had like this machine where they're pumping blood through his body, and there's blood all over, and it was just a cool, you know, I would never be doing that, so <laughs> to be able to act like that was pretty fun. That's one of my favorite movies. Awesome. Yeah. So you sing, you act, you write, and you dance. Mm -hmm. Have any other hobbies other than those? Uh, I love to play basketball. I love capoeira, African Brazilian martial art. Been doing that for like six years. I like to surf. Um, skateboard, football. I just like anything athletic. It requires me to be physically challenged. So, yeah. Do you have any favorite teams? Basketball teams? Teams? I have favorite players. I'm not going to pick teams because the teams change. You can't have a favorite team because they let you down. It's just it's too heartbreaking, you know? So I just. KD, Kobe Bryant. Um, and that's pretty much it for right now. KD is definitely my favorite player. Okay. So you're a pretty busy teenager. So how do you balance your social life and business? Um, social life. Um, luckily, I'm able to travel with people that, that my good friends, my dancers, Nathan and Michael, who are very cool guys uh, around my age. And you know, it's it's no different from just hanging out. You know, when we're on tour, we go to eat. We're in the car for multiple hours. You know, so it's cool. It's chill. Awesome. And I get to meet you guys. Look, we're having a social <laughs> hangout here. <laughs> So you're pretty famous now. Did you imagine yourself like this when you were younger? I've never thought about being famous. My whole goal was just to do what I love to do. And if I became famous from that, then that's icing on the cake. But it really was just to be happy with myself and um, impress myself. I always say that, how can I be better than I was yesterday? So whether that be music or dancing or acting, I always just want to improve and improve. And that's my whole goal whenever I'm on stage or on the big screen. I want people to see it and be like, oh, I want to do what I love to do because they see the passion that I have. So, I know that was a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, where is your career going from this point on? From this point on, where is it going? Where do you want it to go? Where do I want it to go? I want to be wherever I'm meant to be. I feel like, you know, everyone is, you know, has a purpose in life and a job that they're meant to do. And, you know, if tomorrow I was meant to be a, in drawing, an artist, whatever, then I would do that. But I feel like this music thing is really what I was put here to do, so I just I'm gonna keep making the best music I can, continue to tour, um, continue to do any acting things that I can be a part of. And just use everything I've been given, you know, for the best. She sick. She seen Say. She seen the new car, new clothes, new house, new rose. Go.